elevator show off my uh, computer. Well, there it is. The myth, the legend, the 48-pound fully loaded Antec 1200. The beast. So, uh, it's pretty boring looking at the outside. Let's go open it up. Gotta move the scale out of the way. Actually, just weighed it. I had to know. So look at this video. 48 pounds. It's a pretty heavy computer. Just figured I'd show this, show that off in high definition. It's kind of worthless doing it with an old SD camera. It's pretty bad. So um, I'm running a Q6600 on a MSI P6N. You know what? I don't even remember. Yeah, it's a P6N SLI board. Uh, it was N4650. Yeah, an SLI. That's what it was. 650 SLI. I don't know. I built it over the original system over two years ago, and I'm starting to forget what's in it. It's a little difficult. <laughs> Alrighty. Well, all ran by a OCZ, or pronounced correctly with communities out there, OCZ. Never actually seen it written that way. But 700 watt Game Extreme power supply. Um, an XFX GTX 260. Um, 4 gigs of Corsair. XMS2 DHX cooled RAM. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the, ac the acronym correctly. And the Dominator cooler, which I just recently picked up, like, I think about a month ago. Um, the Zom 9500, original, not a CPU cooler, not the 9500A, this I got about a year and a half ago. It's the original cooler. It's a lot better than the new one. I don't know why they ever got rid of half the accessories that came with it. You can't even screw the new one down to the board. It's all push pin, which is retarded. I would never trust a four... I think that one's four pounds. I would never trust a four pound chunk of copper hanging over my graphics card held in by push pins. Plastic push pins, no less. I would never trust it. I mean, the Intel stock coolers, if you use them, they only weigh like a pound. I still wouldn't trust them. Plus, I just never use stock cooling. <sighs> well, I just recently rewired the case. Tried to do as best I can in wire management. I'm really not that good at organizing, as you can probably see in the video. Pretty horrible at it. Um. I really don't know if I want to show off the back of the case. Eh, I'll do it anyway. I'll do it anyway. I'm embarrassed on YouTube. Um, hold on a minute. Sorry about that. Alright, where was I? Ah, I got 48 pound chunk of steel. Alrighty, straighten out this little mat here. Makes it look cool. Alright, I know the door isn't gonna fly open. It's not that crowded back there, so. Well, maybe. May want to duck. I don't know, this roof feels kinda tight. It's gonna pop off a little bit. Oh, just a little. Not bad. Not bad the first time. It was like a rat nest, a rat's nest, and I just ran that thing closed. I think it looks pretty good. Threw that right over there. Um. First off, 
And we would like to thank TJ Harlow for the video tutorial on how to do the terminal block job with all the fans and 12 volt supply lines in the case. Really helped me out. Um, terminal block here. All the two rear 120 fans and the two in the single top big boy 200 mil fan running down the back, along with the cold cathode supply lines. All powered by one small X adapter, as well as the three front 120s, all done by quick disconnect. And all cables zip tied down, very tight. They are not moving. I probably could pick the case up, but I don't want a chance of ripping them. They're not going nowhere. Okay, that one's a little loose. Everything's all tied down. Very neat. About as neat as I've ever had this case. First time I actually took more than an hour to do something. I think it's all pretty good. So. That's pretty much that. That's pretty much it. I don't really have any. Any fancy abnormal case mods to look at no holes drilled anywhere you know no fancy fan mod no replacements of fans case is pretty much stock I don't have any fancy stuff done so I don't think it's really worth mentioning oh storage mediums in the case about a, quite a few year old 160 uh, Western Digital Caviar 160 gigabyte hard drive with an 8 megabyte buffer SATA drive. That thing's about three years old. I'm probably going to be replacing it with my storage drive that's in there now, which is a Western Digital 16 megabyte 250 gig hard drive. Because mm, 8 megabyte buffer with Vista X64 really is not cutting it anymore. And a Samsung Read Right? I don't even remember what model that was just regular Samsung DVD burner all SATA so no more IDE cables I hate IDE you don't even know ew well let's get a quick zoom in here take a look at that terminal block I'm gonna loosen up the tripod here a little bit Tightened it a little too much. I can't turn the camera. I absolutely love it. Right, Where's that little crackling noise? I think my fan's gonna blow up. Oh no. I should probably run. Go hide or something. Not cool. Oh well. I'm gonna stop blabbering on about nothing. There it is. The computer. Not that anybody wanted to see it. I just, you know, I had to show it. But it's cool. And it's in HD. So yeah. Watch it. You know you wanna. Alright, I'm gonna stop now. No, no. Okay, now, stop.